welcome hi hope you all are doing great I did do another one earlier and uh, I think I looked pretty rough and I want to give y'all um, a better effort also I mean I did okay mm, we'll see anyways welcome hello um, I hope y'all are doing good I heard a what oh do y'all like my shirt yes mm -hmm. very stylish this stuff is the bomb on a number 54 or 58 at um, Faux King by uh, my work Faux King don't say it too fast all right Vietnamese food if anybody knows what I'm talking about so um, <laughs> I'm gonna do the one on uh, why I keep remembering all right I'm just gonna get right into it people so <clears throat> just bear with me okay Hebrews 10 Hebrews 10 uh, 2 through 4 in the Aramaic says that because now and this is based on pushing peanuts. No wonder I keep remembering. I wrote it in, wrote on October 13th, 2008. Whoa. So it says, because now, not being troubled in conscience with their sins, who one time purified them, but in them, this is the underlying part, by their sacrifices, they remembered their sins every year for the blood of Bulls and goats is not able to purify sins. All right. So get all this religious stuff out your head. When I keep saying, when, I say, when I'm reading sin and all this stuff, just get it out your head. Quit freaking out. Listen. So, um, so I paraphrase it here. If I have to earn my approval, God's approval, or any other person's approval by my self-performance, or my works, then I am reminding myself of the guilt or penalty of my sin. All right. So just think you're in a relationship with this dude, this girl, right? And y'all just have these conflicts about stuff because this is where it's applicable. One, one place. And then of course, spiritually. Um, and Think of those times where you you try so hard and and what happens? You keep reminding yourself of what it is that you keep messing up on, right? So what's happening? In a sense, you're presenting a sacrifice to this person of conditional love to get them to love you. Hello? me for sure um and whenever so whenever you present that sacrifice you are reminding yourself of where you miss it and you will not forget and the more that you do that the more that you'll remember so that is kind of in a nutshell what that particular post is but you can read Hebrews 10 in the King James or whatever, and you read it over and over, and you don't get that. I've not heard this before. I don't think so. So I am reminding myself then with God, for me, you know, whenever I, I remember I used to go and I would pray. This goes on crazy, one of those stories. And, you know, I do my prayer at night. And now I just kind of pray whenever I feel, feel led to. Because that's really the best time. Because I'm not in the way. For me. This is for me. Anyways, I go pray. And uh, I get all super spiritual. I'm being sarcastic. And I kneel down. And I remember one night, I felt like God was, or the Lord. He was like this. And I was like, what? And I just... If I perceived it and I'm like this is weird and I knelt down again and it was like <laughs> so what was I doing right I was presenting my uh, my sacrifice to God 
saying, look at me, you know, I'm doing great. And, and he's like, man, I ain't having that, you know? And so I was like, okay, I guess not tonight. And, you know, I still learn, I'm still learning. <sighs> but whenever you try, so there was another, there's another story of a guy named um, Uza. So David and his men were moving the ark, I forgot from where to where, but essentially they had the Ark of the Covenant back in the Old Testament, right? And they were going ab above a uh, threshing floor, right? Where ox would thresh the wheat, um, oxen. And the oxen, I think there were oxen that were carrying um, the Ark. Um, no, no, I'm sorry. The Levites were carrying it and one of them slipped on the threshing floor. And then this man named Uzzah went and grabbed the Ark right? Instantly he died. Why? Well, it's the Old Testament. That's one. Two, um, his name means self-strength. And by the Mosaic law, it was only supposed to be Levite priests that were to hold, to, to carry the, the, uh, the Ark of the Covenant. So what's the point of all that? The point is, is when I try in my self strength to do something that I think is sacrificial or how can I not sacrificial when I'm doing it. And to be honest, I now I know why I'm doing it. I think I know why I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. Uh, it could be, uh, and I'm doing it out of fear more than anything. My motive is fear and it goes back to the purpose and intent video. I'm going to remind myself of my failures. There's no freedom in that. That's why I keep remembering. For me. Everybody else, I don't know. So then there's another blog I wrote that correlates to this. And it's called, I Forgot How Convenient. March 25th, 2009. <clears throat> and I quoted a verse in Philippians, Philippians 3.13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended to take hold of this spirituality. I think that's what he's saying. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto the things which are before. So I remember, let me just say this. The word forgetting is a very long Greek word that I'm not going to attempt to pronounce. Um, and it's passive deponent tense. Okay, which means it has a passive form with an active meaning. Also, the word means into oblivion. So he isn't, he, isn't, he isn't trying to forget these things in the past. He is forgetting these things in the past through a passive effect upon him that happened to him, not by him, but it happened to him. And the effect of him forgetting is not just forgetting, but oblivion. Oblivion means I don't remember or it is so insignificant that I don't even care. Mm-hmm. So, all right, and to give you an example, so I have quit smoking now. Oh my God, did he smoke? He used to smoke? <laughs> yes. So, uh, and I vaped, um, uh, what do you call, I don't know, a couple of years ago, and so I went to vaping, and man, I highly recommend it. If you have a problem trying to quit smoking, get onto vaping, dude. It's it helps out quite a bit because you're getting off all those chemicals from smoking, going to what three chemicals on um, on vaping. I used to be the cloud chaser. Oh God! All right. So um, my point is this: I started vaping, and I weaned myself off. You know, I prayed about it and all that, like because I could not quit for nothing. Quit smoking, and. And I think it was it ties into what we're talking about. I was really trying to, to fix myself, you know, and fixing myself, presenting a sacrifice even to myself to, to, to change in that. Anyways, I, um, I started vaping and I was doing these big old plumes of clouds and stuff. And, um, my nicotine percent was like at 3%. If you're any higher, man, you'll pass out anyways, or get jittery. Um, 
I, uh, I kept doing it and doing it. And then, I don't know, I started forgetting I was vaping. And that's interesting. And that's my point, is that I got to a point to where it was the, the, the influence of the chemical was less than my motive and desire, I guess, to want to quit. And when I got to that point of just, I kind of was forgetting that I'm like, do I really want to smoke any or vape anymore? And I'm like, eh, let's give it up. And it, and it wasn't as hard at all, you know? And um, that it was a passive effect that happened to me to, to forget. And um, I'll be honest, I did. I smoked a cigarette a few weeks back and um, it was all right, I guess. I mean, and, but afterwards um, for, let's say I got, I guess, let me see here. I don't know. A few days later, I had that little, Hey, you want to go smoke? And I'm like, no, I'm good. Cause I know now. And so, um, let me give you one more example. So I remember I have quit smoking, man, and smoked, I don't know how many times. I am not smoking. Like that one instance, that's it. I'm not going to be like, hey, I'm going to go get a pack. And uh, no, I'm, I'm good. So um, I was at work every morning, lunch, whatever, you know, especially that after lunch when you know, right, and smoking. And there's this one guy, man. Oh, man, the guy. He would go to Vegas and he would just, they would gamble all night, would not sleep, buy a carton, man, and just smoke it all night, <laughs> man. That's all he do, right? He, he's a good friend, though. He cracks me up. And um, so I quit, you know, and I, he was my smoking buddy. And I uh, quit. And then we one week could go by. And he goes, hey, man, did you smoke this weekend? <laughs> And I'm like, uh, no, man, you trying to encourage me here or what? He goes, all right, cool. You want to go smoke? And I'm like, what's your problem, man? And so another week ago, go by, hey, man, you smoke this weekend? And I'm like, no, do you want to smoke? And I'm like, I'm going to kill you, man. He did this for like six weeks. Six weeks. And I'm like, in the sixth week, I'm like, let's go. So we went out. And um, uh, I go, give me a stupid cigarette. You're going to smoke? You're going to smoke? Boo, boo. And I'm like, yeah, genius. Just give me the stupid cigarette. So I smoked it with him, you know, and I was a little nervous. And I smoked it. But my heart, I didn't want to smoke. And something kind of came into my life that was bigger that put the desire to smoke into oblivion. And that's where I'm at again, thank God. And so I smoked it, put it out, and guess what? He never asked me again because that was why I did it. Get off my back, man. And see, he didn't have that ability to do that. And he, he was like, not only was he like, oh my God, but he was like, so, the, and that's another blog I wrote called The Streak Is Over. Because that's another thing that can happen is you can get into these, I call it being under self-imposed law. And, and if you don't, if you're not careful, you will be stuck there trying to fulfill that law and you won't, you will fail. And I guarantee it. And as INFJs, INFJs, couldn't go out a video without saying INFJ. <laughs> Seriously though, this personality type, as well as others, but since that's what I am, are very hard on themselves. Very hard, too hard, almost abusive in my opinion. And let up on yourself, man. Seriously, be nice to yourself. Say no to somebody, like three times in a day, you know? No. I'm good, or no, I don't want to, or no, do it yourself. Tell them, you have to. Yeah, right, some of you already know that, but some of you else a good reminder. That's for anybody. But um, why am I saying that? Because it's good to know. So anyways, that is the I Forgot um, video. And I hope it, um, I hope it means something. I hope it's relevant. Uh, that's been my experience. Um, it works in my life. It works in relationships. Works in my failures. It always works. And I have been in a 12-step program before, and I have done, I've been in other religions and stuff like that, and this is the only thing that has worked. And I am very stubborn. So... This is a very long video, I think the record. Um, if you have any questions or comments or feedback, let me know and uh, we'll go from there.
لاب 